Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another Scrap 5 challenge. On the screen right now, you're looking at the five items we're all going to be using on our layouts today. And there you can see the first item would be to scrap lift a layout. I decided to go ahead and scrap lift this beautiful layout here, which was done by Moira. And Moira is also joining us on this video hub today. So be sure to go on over, check out her layout. And I will also have the list of all the ladies participating today down in my description box. So be sure to go on over, see their take on using these same five items. So now the first thing I'm going to do would be to go through these pattern papers. This is a collection from Close to My Heart. It is still available as I'm doing this video today. And I'll go ahead and list all the items I used today down in my description box. I also need to use a cardstock as the background, which was one of the items on the list. So I'm going to go ahead and use this colored cardstock here. Now I'm going to be matting this on some black cardstock. So I want to remove about an inch off two sides of this colored cardstock, first of all. And then I'll go ahead and gut my black cardstock because once I lay this colored cardstock on there, you won't notice the parts that's going to be missing. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove the center part of the black cardstock. Now you could you also notice there that um the colored cardstock one side is darker than the other side. I decided to go with the lighter side because I will be doing some stamping as well. So here I went ahead and adhered just one side of my colored cardstock onto the black cardstock, and once I have it centered nicely, I went ahead and adhered the other side as well. So I pulled out this stamp set. It was really close to me um, while I was doing this project here. And you can see it's a beautiful floral design there on that larger stamp. I was not in the mood to be coloring any of those, but I decided to use it just to give me a pattern on my background. Now on Moira's design, she used what looks like a stencil on her background, but I wanted to go ahead and use the stamp as it is one of the items on our challenge list today. So I mean, here I'm using it with the pewter uh, colored ink. And you can see there I'm just using it directly on the background, not with a stamp block, because I did not want to get a straight edge on the stamping. So I'm just using this just to give me a pattern where I will go ahead and add my photo and my strips of paper later on. I'm just filling in where it seems to be missing some of the stamping and just bringing it out towards the edge, but not all the way to the edge. And here I'm going to just bring it up a little closer so you can see you really don't see the design, the lovely design of the stamp, but I get the look that I was going for. I absolutely love a messy look when it comes to mixed media and this is absolutely what I wanted to see once I did the stamping. So I'm happy with that background. So now I'll go ahead, I will work on my photo. I am matting it on some of that black cardstock. And I want to go ahead and add the strips of pattern paper behind my photo. So instead of bringing it all the way behind my photo, I'm just going to cut off pieces of them, as you can see here, of these strips add them to the top and the bottom of my photo. So it gives you the illusion that it's going all the way down. But at the same time, you're not using up all your pattern paper. I really love this collection and wanted to um, save as much of it as I can for more layouts. So I'm just piecing it together right now just to get an idea of where I want each one of these pattern papers to be. I'm not going to adhere it until I'm happy with how it looks. And they are not straight yet. I will go in later on and straighten them up so the strips look as though they're coming all the way down and they're nice and straight. Now on Moira's design, she also had that horizontal strip of pattern paper as well. And once I have the top part here done, I will go in with the same pattern papers and create a horizontal strip as well. And here I just 
show you a picture of Moira's design so you can see how it look against my design that I'm scrap lifting. So now I will go ahead and rough up the edges of these pattern paper strips before adhering them to my background. And once I have all of these strips roughed up, I went ahead and adhered the right side and now I'm using my T-square ruler so I can add in the left side. And of course the middle is empty because that's where I am going to add my photo. And doing it this way, you can see I use this just one strip of each of these paper to add these strips on the top and on the bottom. So now I'll go ahead and do the same with the top and the bottom. And once I have that in place, I'll go ahead and add my photo to the center of those pattern papers. Now, actually before I added my photo on there, I went ahead and did some splatters. Adding splatters would be uh, another item on the list. And I guess I added one more mat behind my photo before adding the splatters. So here I'm adding this beautiful striped paper. This is one of my favorites from this collection. And after adding this striped paper, I will also add another black cardstock border around it. So this way my photo is definitely standing out against this really, really busy background that I'm creating right now. So I added some foam adhesive on the back of my photo, but like I said before, I will add some splatters and I'm using some gold Liquitex um, ink to add those splatters. I pulled out some stickers here from my stash, some black alpha stickers. I'm adding in the word sweet with the larger ones there. And I pulled in some smaller ones to add the word memories. And once again, my handy T-square ruler I'm using to make sure my words are nice and straight. So once I have my title in place, I will go ahead and start embellishing my layout. I'm going to add three clusters here, three main clusters. And I'm starting with that, um, that little flourish sticker from the sticker sheet. There's two smaller ones and a large one. Now you'll see I add the larger one below my title. And there's a gap in between the photo and the flourish, but I will add another sticker later on to fill in that gap. So now I'll pull in some of these circle elements. There are quite a few on the sticker sheet in different colors, uh, colors that coordinate, of course, with the pattern papers, but different shades of that um, mustardy yellow. We also have the gray and um, different shades of the gray as well. And I'm going to add them in a few places around these clusters. Just paying attention to the colors and where I'm adding them next to those strips that I don't add the same exact color next to the strips. So now I need to also add hearts to my layout, another item on the list. And here we have the cork elements that coordinate with this collection and I'm pulling in some small and medium sized hearts and placing them in the center of some of these circles that I added before from the sticker sheet. There's just one large heart I believe on this sheet here and I will use that as well. You can see there's also some other shapes on there but today I'm just using the hearts and those hearts does have adhesive on the back already. So now I wanted to go ahead and add in these word phrases. I will add it to the top of my photo and then you'll notice I added a cluster to the top. The heart that I added to the bottom of that photo, I'll bring it up to the top as well. 
and I think it looks a lot better this way. On that photo, there was that empty space next to my daughter there. So I decided to go ahead and add the embellishments and the word stickers directly on that photo to sort of fill in that space. I'm also adding in some more gold splatters to finish off and making sure I get some of it on the black cardstock, which ties in the black cardstock with the rest of the layout. So here's a close-up look at my my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and this process and see how easy it is to add some stamping to your layout. I hope it inspires you and be sure to check out everyone else's layout today using these five items. And I hope you guys come back again soon for another one of my videos. So thanks, thank you for watching today and until next time, bye.